Welcome to today's Walk Through the Bible by Historical Category. We have seven categories with one chapter each per day. This will take us through the Bible in less than nine months. This English Standard Version of the Bible is being read by my favorite Christian voice, Max McLean. Our second category walks us through Israel's history, beginning with the book of Joshua through the book of Esther. Second Chronicles 10 Rabom went to Shechem, for all Israel had come to Shechem to make him king. And as soon as Jeroboam the son of Nebat heard of it, for he was in Egypt, where he had fled from King Solomon, then Jeroboam returned from Egypt, and they sent and called him. And Jeroboam and all Israel came and said to Rabom, Your father made our yoke heavy. Now therefore lighten the hard service of your father, and his heavy yoke on us, and we will serve you. He said to them, Come to me again in three days. So the people went away. Then King Rabom took counsel with the old men, who had stood before Solomon his father while he was yet alive, saying, How do you advise me to answer this people? And they said to him, If you will be good to this people and please them and speak good words to them, then they will be your servants forever. But he abandoned the counsel that the old men gave him and took counsel with the young men who had grown up with him and stood before him. And he said to them, what do you advise that we answer this people who have said to me, Lighten the yoke that your father put on us? And the young men who had grown up with him said to him, Thus shall you speak to the people who said to you, Your father made our yoke heavy, but you lighten it for us. Thus shall you say to them, My little finger is thicker than my father's thighs. And now, whereas my father laid on you a heavy yoke, I will add to your yoke. My father disciplined you with whips, but I will discipline you with scorpions. So Jeroboam and all the people came to Rehoboam the third day, as the king said, Come to me again the third day. And the king answered them harshly, forsaking the counsel of the old men. King Rehoboam spoke to them according to the counsel of the young men, saying, My father made your yoke heavy, but I will add to it. My father disciplined you with whips, but I will discipline you with scorpions. So the king did not listen to the people, for it was a turn of affairs brought about by God, that the Lord might fulfill his word, which he spoke by Ahijah the Shalonite to Jeroboam the son of Nebat. And when all Israel saw that the king did not listen to them, the people answered the king, What portion have we in David? We have no inheritance in the son of Jesse. Each of you to your tents, O Israel. Look now to your own house, David. So all Israel went to their tents. But Rehoboam reigned over the people of Israel, who lived in the cities of Judah. Then King Rehoboam sent Hadoram, who was taskmaster over the forced labor, and the people of Israel stoned him to death with stones. And King Rehoboam quickly mounted his chariot to flee to Jerusalem. So Israel has been in rebellion against the house of David to this day. Our third category captures the sad reality of Israel's fall, beginning with the prophet Isaiah and continuing through the last book of the Old Testament, Malachi. We see how God sent Israel prophets to call her back through repentance, yet foretelling of their imminent collapse as a nation, yet giving them hope for the distant future when they would eventually be restored and they finally would realize the fulfillment of all God's promises to them in the coming millennial kingdom. Hosea 7 When I would heal Israel, the iniquity of Ephraim is revealed in the evil deeds of Samaria, for they deal falsely. The thief breaks in, and the bandits raid outside. But they do not consider that I remember all their evil. Now their deeds surround them, they are before my face. By their evil they make the king glad, and the princes by their treachery. They are all adulterers, they are like a heated oven whose baker ceases to stir the fire. From the kneading of the dough until it is leavened. On the day of our king the princes became sick with the heat of wine. He stretched out his hand with mockers, for with hearts like an oven they approach their intrigue. All night their anger smolders, in the morning it blazes like a flaming fire. All of them are hot as an oven, and they devour their rulers. All their kings have fallen, and none of them calls upon me. 
Ephraim mixes himself with the peoples. Ephraim is a cake not turned. Strangers devour his strength, and he knows it not. Gray hairs are sprinkled upon him, and he knows it not. The pride of Israel testifies to his face, yet they do not return to the Lord their God, nor seek him for all this. Ephraim is like a dove, silly and without sense, calling to Egypt, going to Assyria. As they go, I will spread over them my net. I will bring them down like birds of the heavens. I will discipline them according to the report made to their congregation. Woe to them, for they have strayed from me. Destruction to them, for they have rebelled against me. I would redeem them, but they speak lies against me. They do not cry to me from the heart, but they wail upon their beds. For grain and wine, they gash themselves, they rebel against me. Although I trained and strengthened their arms, yet they devise evil against me. They return, but not upward. They are like a treacherous bow. Their princes shall fall by the sword. Because of the insolence of their tongue, this shall be their derision in the land of Egypt. Our fourth category encompasses the books of the Old Testament known as the wisdom literature. These books include Job and Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, and the Song of Solomon. Psalm 148. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the heights. Praise Him, all His angels. Praise Him, all His hosts. Praise Him, sun and moon. Praise Him, all you shining stars. Praise Him, you highest heavens, and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for He commanded and they were created, and He established them forever and ever. He gave a decree, and it shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, you great sea creatures in all deeps, fire and hail, snow and mist, stormy wind fulfilling His word. Mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, beasts and all livestock, creeping things and flying birds, kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all rulers of the earth, young men and maidens together, old men and children. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His majesty is above earth and heaven. He has raised up a horn for his people, Praise for all his saints, for the people of Israel who are near to him. Praise the Lord. We have a bonus category, which is a daily dose of Psalm 119. This psalm, written by King David, and the way he laid it out was to have a natural division that we call stanzas. The divisions are the letters of the Hebrew alphabet. Each stanza represents one letter each of the 22 total letters. Here are verses 105 to 112 in stanza number 14. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. I have sworn an oath and confirmed it to keep your righteous rules. I am severely afflicted. Give me life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept my freewill offerings of praise, O Lord, and teach me your rules. I hold my life in my hand continually, but I do not forget your law. The wicked have laid a snare for me, but I do not stray from your precepts. Your testimonies are my heritage forever, for they are the joy of my heart. I incline my heart to perform your statutes forever to the end. <laughs> 